Welcome back to Spirit Chronicles Anime Review, episode number seven. Now, unlike the previous six videos, why well, pretty much excuse me, previous four excuse uh no yeah but previous six where you two episodes piece, some of you just one because it's all the time to watch right now. Now this episode aired just a few weeks ago. The first episode of the series when when in this world when I mentioned this world you were that's the out of the episode. This episode, from what I can tell, adapts from book four. I'd say it mostly put the best way to describe this episode. Like the first half, it's like they just readapt the stuff they had from the last, the, the end of the previous episode, which was the final episode of the previous season, which aired three years ago. And it's like everything they skipped over for that last, like, couple minutes of the episode, which they probably had the rush in order to get that big cliffhanger ending. Here they like they put everything back in, exactly where it should be. So here, see good events that happened, that that was basically cut out of the, the previous episode because it kind of rushed the, the ending, because they probably had to get to us because of this particular season. Though for some reason they had to take three years for this. I don't know why. Now, two year year two is fine, but three years is a bit much. The longest gap I've heard between seasons is ten years. And that was for um, the Devil's Part Timer, yes. Which no one ever suspected that one get a season two, and people were hoping for it probably for a long time. Yeah, yeah, we have a season two for that one. Okay, but this episode in particular, here's what happens: we see Ryu where he's flying over, and then of course he's like the area where he picks the cell phone. Which if you watch the previous episode, like, wait, where did you get the cell phone from? Okay, basically what happened is that the people who captured uh, Miraha, Aki, and, uh, the other guy they're with, um, It's like they basically took stuff from the previous book, from book five, and basically back in here. So, okay, so. So, okay, so we have Aki and... Uh, Masato. Yes. Yeah, they pretty much both come in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically, they meet each other, and of course, basically, when they have, when he arrives to camp, Basically, the shock. To, oh, someone's speaking Japanese, even though technically we're hearing in English, and we're hearing the the Straw Kingdom language basically translate in Japanese. They they probably chose not to dub this, probably due to the fact the language sounds so different. So they tried to. Oh, there was children and like people who basically speak Japanese, and of course they're freed. And of course, basically, it's revealed. That, now, here's the thing with Aki. Aki, they reveal in this episode, was Haruto's younger sister by three years. Yes, younger sister. Which, of course, there is something related to her and why in the world that his parents divorced. In a way, it was actually indirectly was her fault. In actuality, it was their mother's fault. Yes, and it's not entirely her fault the reason why their parents divorced. It's actually the mother's fault. I'm not going to spoil it here, per se, because, yeah, it's kind of dumb. So, let's let's continue this episode. So, after he frees his childhood friend, which they have the, the, the guy who's in charge of the group, him trying to get a key, and of course, he's real unlocking a door. And what happens to these people? I uh, don't know after he kills them. And then eventually walk with him for a while. And of course, they juice each other. And of course, as we find out that he's that Aki, and of course, the younger guy is actually her younger brother. 
which of course he didn't have any any brothers in the previous life so he suspects his mother must be married and that's why we have the younger sibling here and then they arrive and then they arrive like oh let's go let's go away that's still too dangerous here so they go to this this one clearing area probably hidden and it really summons his house and then we see celia there in her nice wedding dress and so aisha basically translates had does this let me entry so she kisses celia's forehead and then kisses the forehead of what was her name here Uh, Maharu. Yes. It is something that they moved up, basically, her, their introduction. So, I'm thinking that in the case of this very episode, that... I would probably say that this episode probably covered, in a way, the first, like... Because here's the thing about the light novels for this series. They're not very long. Some of them are basically about 200 pages. Or uh, either they're at 200 or they're under 200 pages. So, in kind of in a way, this episode pretty much in a way covered, like, the first five chapters of the book and the interlude. I would say it's partially adapted for the ending of the previous season for the show. And this episode kind of adapts the rest. And what they also kind of do here is they move up basically the group's meeting with Celia. That happened in the very next book. Here they moved it up. They probably did it because basically they already adapt, partially adapted the second half, book five. So let's basically continue this here. Uh, my guess is they're probably going to basically see some images I've seen. They're, they're, they're going to reunite with uh, Ryu's adoptive little sister. Which, that happens in the start of book five. So, in just the first episode, they've already covered half of book four. Yep, just the first four chapters. Uh, my guess is, based upon the titles here, is that... And I'm guessing at this is that probably adapting chapter six for the next episode. And I'm guessing that by the time we get to uh, the newest episode that just aired today, I would probably say that by episode four, they're going to finish adapting this very book. Mm hmm. Kind of in a way, yes, I do think so. I think they got finished adapting uh, this for a book. Mm -hmm. I would say that kind of in a way, I'd say partially. This book was also partially that for the previous season. I see a couple of the segments here, but here we're basically adapting all the rest of the stuff, which got appreciate the fact that they did this given the fact they skipped over a lot of this book in just the previous se previous season of the show. And this is probably the studio's way of apologizing for skipping over that stuff. Probably because they had to rush the ending. Kind of. So then at the introductions, and then of course basically the the four girls, Aisha, Aki, Marha and Celia all go take a bath while Ryu talks to technically in a way well the the kid basically who is his how should I put this this kid This kid is his younger, uh, younger sibling. Mm hmm Yes. This is, uh, Masaru. Yeah, they have the thing open up here with this first episode of, uh, 
also a bit of expanded upon flashback where we see now it was shown briefly the previous season show we have him seeing his childhood friend she's talking to somebody here we actually see he actually hear the conversation where we actually identify who these people are in this very episode We have uh, Sasuke Simurgi and Sino Kagasha. Yes, they're both here as well, and then they're summoned. From from the way the flashback is, this is probably before Haruto's death in the flashback showed in the previous season of the show. So it's like a Susie who sees try a friend. Then she's not mentioned again, and then eventually he dies. So this is probably pick up right where that scene left off. And then after they get into the rock house, and of course they had the bath. And of course he does explain that, oh yeah, he was reincarnated. And then of course, basically, he does mention the whole thing about the bus accident. He does not tell him the, he does not tell Aki, his own sister, that he is a reincarnation of her late brother. He, she has not told, he has not told her that yet. Maybe we'll next episode. Who knows? And have a conversation basically like what to do. The fact that they can't speak the straw kingdom language. So. And apparently whenever Celia speaks. It's like she's speaking two different. It's like she's still speaking translated. Uh, who knows how long this lasts for. And then we have the episode. And a very interesting. Well basically Celia is given a tracksuit to wear. Because she had dirty wedding dresses she was wearing. And now she's wearing Aki's tracksuit, which surprisingly fits her. Probably because she's very thin. Yes. But it is something that we see Celia, some fun fantasy, wearing a tracksuit. Because when have you ever seen a series where you have a woman wearing an outfit from a previous world? The only series I have ever seen that did this was in The Eminence in Shadow. Where they actually sell in the show, they actually have the store they have in the show, where it's run by the de facto leader of the organization that the child organization that the main character runs. Uh, his basically Alpha, basically his second command. She basically started a, a, a basically a store chain, and she actually started an actual clothing line based on stuff he freaking said. And of course, we have it here in this series too. Where we have a, a woman who basically, uh, basically has Monday clothing and all this other stuff, which is interesting. And they mentioned they're going to go to the city for some shopping. But uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the remaining four episodes of the se- three episode season. Yes, that is a factoid. There is exactly three more episodes to go for the whole entire season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, three more, and that's pretty much it. Which I am very much looking forward to, basically, the very next few episodes. I mean, there's not a lot left, per se. Like I said, three episodes to go, so... And I'd say with tomorrow, and this is evident, that I will cap off, basically, getting this one caught up. Yeah, say... I mean, I'll get this caught up, and watch the on tomorrow. Yes. So, this is pretty much a particular view. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and do not hit the like button. Well, expect to see two views of this tomorrow. Well, one reviewing the basically episodes two and three, and then of course basically uh, the fourth episode of the season. Oh, in case you want to the episode numbers, uh, thirteen is the uh, basically it's the first episode. It's the thirteen episode of the series. So, next episode will cover 14, 15, and then a lot, the most recent episode will cover 16. So, I'd say we could probably got about two more videos. I was hoping for one more, but because I got this episode done, I figured, though, probably two more videos. So, probably up to nine, and next week, basically, up to ten. And this, yes, we have an interview schedule. I mean, think about it. There's, with episode four, there's only eight episodes of the go. And what about Afria? Uh, Afria has got... I think it's got 11 to go. 
Let's see. Uh, Free has actually got 13 left. Uh, is the one who goes mentioned? Was this one has 11 left? Uh, as a ring kind of aristocrat, credit, use my previous rise in the world. This has eight left. So, my guess is is that this season will finish at the same time as as a ring kind of aristocrat. Right? Yes, I do think so. Um, re zero, they'll finish up probably a week prior to Freya. Yes. Uh, I'd say, so, here is exactly, like, the order of shows finished up here. So, I'd say, of all the shows, I'd say, this season finished up first. Probably the same week as, as Ring Current Rooster got. Those two shows finished up first. And then, I would say, just three weeks after that, it will be, I would say... Is it Ron Turgo's Ninja to finish up next? And then to free a season three? Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, no. Be after... After there's Ron Turgo's Ninja, I think that ReZero finishes next, then a, then, a, then a free out. That's the order there. Now, who knows, basically, how many, how many more videos I got to go for Spielbond. I mean, I only have 20 episodes of the go, so I don't think that would take me very long to get through. I highly doubt it. So, that's it pretty much it. So, I'll see you all tomorrow. So, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and do not hit the like button. Okay, next few tomorrow. Bye.